let's start with the first class so while i'm talking about hr profiles in real life world there are majorly two categories is there anyone who can tell me a bit if you have any idea hr generalist hr generalist hr operations great hr generalist and hr operations anything else Anyone? Mm-hmm. Okay. Is it visible to you guys? Provide with notes. We. I will provide everything. Don't worry. After the class, okay. I will share everything. Okay. Okay. so while i am talking about hrm activities that is what are the work you are going to do in the current or the real time environment in corporate in hr field so there are this seven basics what generally followed in the corporate world starting with recruitment and selection i would like to ask any one of you like any one of you please ask, tell me what do you mean by recruitment and selection what is recruitment and selection what do you think recruitment yeah, is a pro- recruitment mm-hmm. is a process of selecting candidates uh, from the pool of okay. candidates fair enough anything else uh, recruitment is something like when we invite people can be like invite people for the job And selecting is मतलब selecting them for the correct job, maybe. Okay. Anything else? Good, good, Bhavya. Good, Sri. Recruitment is the Imagine. process of attracting people uh, uh, from very various job portals. Uh huh. Okay. Good. anything else sir recruitment is the process of uh, gathering information through different sectors and uh, mm-hmm. through the what we gather the data in that data we mm-hmm. we select the candidates okay understood okay so rightly pointed out by all of you recruitment is interviewing selecting the candidate as per the job role now coming to performance management what do you mean by performance management anything kuch bhi anything coming into your mind what is performance management as per you guys it is a tool uh, uh, which measures the employees work performance mhm it is a tool which perform okay good good points re anything else anyone madhu somya himanshu bhavya simran any any point you would like to highlight it also provides an env- environment where can uh, they uh, show their abilities to work it okay. provides an environment where they show their abilities to work mm-hmm. okay so uh, while talking about performance management performance management is something you know while you are working in an organization you have your appraisals appraisals means your salary hike like you know while you are working in your first year second year third year at that time and during your tenure while you are working as a manager you are working as an executive doesn't matter what is the role but at that time you like you know uh, there is a person who will be evaluating your performance what you are doing along with your team so this is what we call as performance management where there is a separate team in hr hr you know the whole hr department there is a separate team who works on evaluating the performance of the employees so as the teams as well is that clear or any questions Clear. any questions it is clear okay now i'd like to ask you while talking about learning and development what comes to your mind 
learning and development means uh, the company provides some training pro- programs to skill up the employees within their organization okay it comes under learning and development good anyone need yeah. so hmm. continuous process improving our technology sir absolutely or new methods also good somya any other points you want to add himanshu bhavya simran yeah development is a broader concept while learning is a short concept and uh, in development we overall grow, grow the people like there is the overall growth and in learning there is a growth in a specific field i guess okay fair enough let me simplify that so uh, suppose suppose madhu is joining in an organization as a software developer is that clear so while madhu is working as a software developer he joined the company does he knows everything as per the corporate standards no right so at that time companies or the hr department who are dedicated to learning and development will decide that what are the skill sets or what are the trainings that madhu needed to perform well or his efficiency will be high in the organization so they will be setting up the calendar for the year that in this year or in this month how many trainings madhu has to undertaken and that to what will be the duration am i am i like am i able to understand you properly yes sir so it it is properly understandable right you guys are understanding or any doubt any doubt anyone sri somya himanshu bhavya can you once come my no, sir okay so i am telling when a person joins an organization that person doesn't know about the company activities or what team he or she will be working and what are the certifications trainings needed to be to perform well in that role right so this is the role of a hr team where they are scheduling they are preparing a learning and development curriculum for the employee to sustain and grow in an organization giving optimum efficiency now it is clear sri clear great sir is so coming some training about the purpose about that yeah. field anything see if you are going for so what what background you are having what is your graduation background actually i am a student yeah that's what i'm saying what what are you currently studying i am in class 12 on ncrt university class 12 okay so, so what you have taken science or commerce commerce with maths commerce with maths okay so you must be knowing about accounts right yes okay so now tell me there, do you know this thing that there was a time when we were using journals lasers but now we are shifting to accounting softwares are you okay you know that right yeah okay so while we are talking about accounting softwares is there any training needed for that because one person who have worked on copies or books they need one software training to sustain and grow good in the organization and that they can give efficiency as well am i right yes okay so for that there will be a team who will be deciding what are the training modules needed to give in to vavya right yeah are you clear now yeah yeah any doubt any small doubt i'm clear now uh, i would like to ask again what do you think by succession planning what is succession planning as per you everyone english terminology i don't want you to be right every time but just tell me what you feel what is succession planning as per you sir based on planning we will uh, confirm that we will assume that uh, we will 
will came for success for a right plan for a right success okay okay good we'll do anyone properly, else then only we will success mm -hmm. okay it is something that is done before planning maybe before planning planning of what no worries anyone else sri simran soumya awesome. hello yeah succession planning means uh, when uh, the company is in drought condition i think mm -hmm. so but i don't know whether it is correct or not no when it is in drought condition mm -hmm. there will be one planning to overcome that period okay that is called as succession planning okay so some of you are partially right so the real meaning is okay tell me an instance where there might be an instance where the director of the company is having a death like he or she is no more so there will be someone who will be taking over that post right it happens in the organization am i right yes or no or someone leaves the organization there is someone who will be promoted to get that position right when okay. the company is in uh, critical positions uh, to to over for every uh, to overcome that uh, critical position no 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 you are you are talking about hr now that is strategic part while talking about hrm we will be talking about people only succession means succession successor what do you mean by successor father and his son will be a successor right can you come again a father then his son will be the successor of a father right yeah are you talking about the hierarchy yes not hierarchy exactly but you can say uh, you know heredity in a, like you know that Term is succession means basically someone will take charge of another position. So suppose the CEO is dead or the CEO is you know left the company. Just for an example, there will be some other employee who will be taking Executive. charge of who will be taking charge of that position. So on what basis, what person or the which person should take charge of that position? that is the work of succession planning team any doubt please ask guys please ask any doubt sri any doubt bhavya no yes sorry yes or no i'm not able to get you please don't unmute it. don't mute it just just tell me no doubt you got it right yeah okay the next concept is compensation and benefits so any one of you knows or have any idea about what is compensation and benefits compensation and benefits means when company provides some benefits to the employees to the work they do hmm. uh, is called as compensation and benefits like hr uh, house renting allowance uh, mm -hmm. so my pf Yeah. daily allowances yeah. traveling allowances all this comes under compensation and benefits absolutely very very correctly pointed out so compensation benefit is the team the payrolling team who is taking care of your salary who is taking care of your private provident fund allowances leaves like how much paid so everything related to your payments your health insurance your provident fund etc etc is that clear hello guys please say be yes or no at least so that i can proceed yes sir yes sir okay the next concept is hr information system so hr information system is something so you guys are into college majorly do you have any sign in or your login password for your college any one of you have it yes sir it is there sir. right okay so what is there in the in that software like when you are logging in what is there it and uh, structure of employed employees okay that means students in colleges right yeah so likewise as in schools or colleges you are having one system where all your details are there likewise employees are also enrolled where they are also signing in and they are also logging into such kind of softwares 
where the work of an hr is to evaluate so there is the information system where all the softwares are there where employees are logging in every day hr information system takes care of that activity okay and now while i'm while i'm talking about hr data and analytics team so once you are using information system suppose here madhu is there sri soumya bhavya simran himanshu these people are there five people how many times they are absent how many times they are present how much salary is they are taking what is their performance all the details when they are gathering as a data they are analyzing that data is the work of hr data and analytics is that clear yeah clear sir okay any questions guys till now no sir